What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're looking at how to divide a large number by a two digit number. Let's check it out. Okay, so we have these three questions that slowly get harder. Let's have a look at our first question as we look at our steps. So our steps say to first to put the dividend inside and the divisor outside. So our dividend is this number, the number that we're actually dividing. So we're going to have 273 inside our bus stop and then our divisor which is this number here the 13 on the outside okay then step two says divide and remainders go next door we're going to be dividing using the number 13 so it makes sense to find a couple of multiples that are going to be in the 13 times table so what i like to do is just write a little list next to my workings out so i'm going to start with 13 after 13 would be 26 then 39, and sometimes I get to a position like 39 out 13, might be quite difficult. Well, I can just do a very quick addition question. Nine plus three is 12. One plus three plus one is four. So I get my 42. Then my next one I can see is 55, and I'm gonna stop there. If we need any more, we'll do some more later. Okay, and we're gonna use short method. So my first question says, how many 13s are in two? Well, as I can see quite clearly by my multiplication chart, we can't get any 13s out of 2. So I would put a 0, and now I'm going to look at 27. How many 13s are there in 27? So I can look down my multiplication chart, and I can see we have a 13. We have another 13 that gets to 26, but obviously I can't go any higher than 26 because our number is 27. So I have 2. But we only managed to get to 26 and we needed to get to 27 so we have one left over the difference between 26 and 27 is one so what am i going to do with that one i'm going to follow step three and put it next door so now my three becomes a 13 and now i can do how many 13s are there in 13 well again looking at our multiplication chart you can see it's just one so my answer to 273 divided by 13 is 21. Okay, let's step it up a little bit and let's have a look at 3,245 divided by 34. So I'm gonna set my question out just like before and now I'm gonna make a list of multiples of 34 and I'm gonna start with 34 and it's gonna be 68. And again, 68 plus 34 could be quite difficult so I'm gonna put a little quick addition. Four add eight is 12. One add three plus the six is 10. So my answer is 102. Then it'll be 136, and finally 170. And now I can begin. How many 34s are there in three? Zero, so I can just look at 32. How many 34s are there in 32? Also zero. So now I'm gonna to have to roll that whole 32 into the four as well and make it 324. And look at how many 34s are there in 324. Well, I didn't do enough multiplications for that, so I'm gonna use some number knowledge, and I'm gonna look at 34, and I'm gonna multiply it by 10. 34 times 10 equals 340. And now I'm just gonna go backwards down my multiplication table and do 34 times nine would therefore equal 306, because I've just taken away 34 from the 340. So I can see from that that there's gonna be nine 34s in 324, but I only got to 306. So what's the difference between 306 and 324? Well, I can do 3, 2, 4, subtract 3, 0, 6. 4 subtract 6 can't do. 14 subtract 6 is 8. 1 subtract 0 is 1. 3 subtract 3 is 0. So the difference is 18. So I give my 18 to my neighbor, turning that 5 into 185. Now I can ask myself how many 34s are there in 185? And I can see that if I try to add another number down here in my multiplication, it's gonna be way bigger than 185. So I know that there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So my answer is five, but that only took us to 170. So I can do 185, subtract 170 equals 15. So I would have a remainder 15. So my final answer is 95, a remainder 15. Let's have a look at a red chili challenge, a hard one, and let's follow the steps really quickly this time. So my dividend is inside and my divisor is outside, and I've got my five multiples ready if I need them. So now I'm gonna look at how many 24s are in six, zero. I'll look at it as a 65. How many 24s are in 65? Well, I can go one, two, but I could only get to 48 and I needed to get to 65. So I have a difference of 17. I'll put my 17 
in front of my next number, turning that 4 into 174. Now I can see I need a couple more multiples. There we go. And how many 24s are there in 174? Well, I can see I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I could get to 168. Therefore, the difference between 168 and 174 would be 8. Give my 8 to my neighbor. And my final question, how many 24s are there in 87? I can see that I can go 1, 2, 3. So my answer would be 3 but I can only get to 72, so the difference would be 15. And there we go, simple. Let's look at the things to remember. First, create a list of five multiples will really help you. Begin by dividing the first number in the bus stop and then carry the remainders along if needed. Here are three questions for you to have a little look at. Put your answer in the comment section. I'm gonna try and mark every single one. There we have it guys, that is dividing a large number by a two digit number. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. See you in another video.